one of the biggest challenges is in 2007 when my family was hit by a teenage drunk driver, and it, uh, killing my wife and three of my children. And as I sat in the car, I forgave the driver. Uh, but as I look back in my life about this preparation, I remember a specific instance back in college when I had just bought a car and I was trying to pay for uh, uh, my schooling as well. And um, I had a nice stereo in the car <laughs> and it was parked out in the parking lot where I worked. I came out one night and the stereo was stolen. And I remember just the anger that overcame me and the fury. And I went back in, called the police, went back out and of course wanted them to come with light, you know, sirens blaring, right? They didn't come for quite some time, which was a blessing because um, I found that after a while I got tired of being angry. I got tired of wanting justice. And, um, and as I looked into this night sky, I remember thinking in my mind an image of two people and one was me and all of the blessings were just listed below me of everything that I had had been given. And the other person was a faceless individual and, and they didn't have those blessings. They didn't have the good family and the, you know, the good teachings and upbringing and opportunities that I had had. And I realized that if I continued on that path, it was just a path of destruction for me. Uh, this would over, overwhelm me um, and not bring me the peace. But I prayed and as I prayed, I felt that everything would be okay. That it wasn't, a, you know, the stereo, who cares about stereo? That, you know, it's more important for me to have peace in this life. And so, but what was important about that experience is it was a seed that was planted in my heart knowing that when difficult trials and tribulations came into my life, I needed to let that seed grow. I needed to let the words of Christ grow in my heart so that um, to the point where in 2007, when something much more difficult to, uh, to get through than just a car stereo happened, I was able to, based on what had been growing in my heart, trust in God and, and let it go.